Hey folks, Mark here with Inside Archery and today I'm talking about APA's Black Mamba bows. Right here we've got the Black Mamba 33, we got the Black Mamba 29. Right off the bat, let's talk about some of the unique features that APA tends to integrate within their, their designs. Uh, both of these bows feature some really unique what I call Swiss Army Knife types of necessities and conveniences that are built into this design. Because of how light they are, they tend to pack pretty well. They sling right on a backpack and you could go up uh, into these remote areas without having to worry too much about your weight because weight is a big deal when it comes to Western style types of hunting. We got the nice spaced grip, serves a nice Nice feature to carry the bow, you know, uh, like this or from your strings. Instead of your strings, you could, you know. These bows actually come with a pin that's built right into the riser, and you're actually able to decompress your bow, lock it with this pin, and believe it or not, you could actually take the string off and replace it in the field if you needed to, or make adjustments or something to happen. You got mud on the cam, you need, or whatever happens. You're gonna be able to take this string off in the field, put a new set in. Some folks will have an extra string with them in their pack on, on long hunts, just in case something happens to your string. Well, guess what? You have the option to take the string off and put it back on without even using a bow press. In the same area, uh, this bow has it as well. We've got a cool little area that's cut out where you could put a broadhead in and you could tune your broadhead or tighten it. Pretty cool feature. And right above it, you could see that, yes, that is carbide steel blade sharpener. So uh, you could sharpen knives or even your broadheads on this, pretty cool. And then right next to it, these two little half moon cutouts, uh, that's actually to uh, twist and move your knock. Um, so if you, your knock is off its alignment, you can twist and turn it and take off your knock with this cool little cutout. Moving up towards the top of the bow, they have the famous built-in hook. You literally don't need a tree hook. You could hang this off of a limb if you wanted to, or you can hang it on your tree hook. But really cool feature about, about the bow is that built-in. Uh, the bow feels like it's got a coating of rubber or something on it. It feels really good. Uh, I don't feel like this bow would feel cold to me uh, on those crispy November mornings, you know? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's quiet if they accidentally get dinged against something metal. Yeah. With all the cool features, let's talk a little bit about the Black Mama 29 with this cool rust color. Has the same feel, that coating, that's quiet. Love that. Um, but one really, really cool feature about the 29 is there is a built-in hoist where you could literally winch your bow up to your tree. You don't need a bow rope anymore. Uh, there's a knob that just loosens up to release the tension of the wheel, and then the string comes out. And it looks like there's a lot of, a lot of uh, string here. Pretty durable cord. I don't see this thing breaking. But yeah, really cool feature. You bring your bow right up to the stand. One less thing you gotta worry about and have in the tree, right? And just like the 33, the 29 also has the carbide knife sharpener, the tool for your broadhead, the knock twister, the hook, narrow design. This, this bow is actually slightly lighter than this one, than the, than the 33. One cool thing that I forgot to mention about both these bows is right here in front of the hook, you'll see this hole. That hole is for an accessory piece to go in so then you could film your hunts. Uh, yeah, it, it literally would just go up, screw into the, the stud, and then you could mount your GoPro, your Insta360, your action cam, whatever you use. So that's a cool feature that's featured on these bows. On top of these cool looking designs, we can't skim over the fact that these bows are absolute speed demons. Both these bows shoot right around that 350 to 355 feet per second. That's ripping. With both these bows, you do have options with different 
limb weights. So you could go from 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. They even have 100 pound limbs for these bows. And just like the 33, the 29 has a little knob there. You pull out the accessory pin for your cams. The string is removable without a bow press, just like the 33. Overall, an amazing, cool looking bow. The Black Mamba 29, the Black Mamba 33. Check them out at APA Archery. Check out all the other bows that they have. But these here are what I call the Swiss Army knife of bows. Check them out, APA Archery. Mark here with Inside Archery. Take care.